Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's me, Dr. V. Jayakumar. I am making lecture videos for the benefit of mechanical engineering students. Before I proceed, I would like to thank all of you for your magnanimous support for my earlier lecture series on dynamics of machines. Your positive response has motivated me to try out another lecture series on kinematics of machines. If you are new to this channel and not yet subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so that to get notified all my upcoming videos. In this video, let us see what is the motivation to study this course kinematics of machines. To give the scope of this course in a nutshell, let me present you a rough statement of the problem. It says that a patient is confined to be in a room where the patient's mobility is restrained. He or she is bedridden, but the patient wants to operate a window which is about say six or eight feet away on his or her own. As a mechanical engineer, we are required to design a suitable mechanism. A suitable mechanism which will transmit and transform the input motion given by the patient into a suitable output motion, which is nothing but opening or closing of the window. How this can be done? The answer to this design of mechanism is what we'll be doing in this kinematics of machines course. Or in other words, this course, kinematics of machines will present all the tools and techniques that can be used to design such mechanisms in order to meet specific motion requirements that are desired by various applications. Let us find the scope of this course. The fundamental concept that you are going to study in this kinematics of machines course will be useful whenever you are required to design a mechanism. As we are aware, in this era of automation, mechanization, automation are being used in almost all sectors, in transportation, in medical industry, in manufacturing, what not. Wherever automation and mechanization are involved, we might be requiring one or other type of mechanism. To design them, to analyze them, we need the underlying concepts of kinematics of machines course. Let me give you some illustration to you. This is an illustration of an evacuator. There are so many actuators are actuating the bucket in order to carry the load to be dumped. Here we are desired or interested to study the calculation of the actuator path and what would be the reach, how much is the force required to carry the load and what would be the throw and what are the velocity and acceleration of the various links of the mechanisms. So this is coming under KOM. Let me give you another example of a foldable bike. Fantastic, isn't it? There is a fascinating mechanism which is involved here, which allows the bike to be folded. It involves kinematic analysis and synthesis of mechanism. Let us consider these robots. Design of all these robots involves concepts of kinematics of machines. First, we need to determine the degrees of freedom involved. Then we need to plan workspace. We need to plan motion planning. What is the workspace required for all the motions required? What will be the reach of the robot? What will be the positioning? What will be the velocity acceleration of various links of the robot? Whether it involves a path generation or motion generation. Typically, a robot to be designed that should start from the concepts of kinematics of machines. Clear? Let us consider another application which is automated building. We can call it as a robo is being used for building purpose. Even to do design of such mechanisms require the concepts of KOM. Now, this is a typical cut-off mechanical calculator which were used before 1970s before it is being replaced by electronic calculators. 
this mechanical calculators have used fascinating a stepped drum mechanism for doing the calculation purpose as you could see here all these mechanisms transmit and transform motion let me give you a few more practical mechanism this is a typical can crusher a simple process and rear window wipers so this is the can crusher where input motion given by the and and can will be crushed this is the simple press by pressing the and wheel we can press the object as you know in the rear window wipers the rotary motion is the input motion the rotary motion is converted into oscillating motion of the wiper blade these are a typical transfer mechanisms which are used for transportation and the packaging industries as you could see at the top the rotary motion is converted into a rectilinear motion this is used for moving package from an assembly bench to a conveyor the next one the device used to close the top flap of boxes so when this rotary motion is converted into this linear motion which closes the top flaps of the boxes then you might have seen in your car we have a food so this can stand by using a four bar mechanism so mechanisms are used in every parts of our life in every walks of our life mechanisms are used for medical applications as well as you could see here prosthetic knee mechanism which uses six bar linkage mechanism the left hand diagram shows the mechanism which is in extension position the right hand side diagram shows the mechanism in flexed position the design of all such mechanisms require the concepts of kinematics of machines hope this video has helped you to understand the significance and the scope of this fascinating course kinematics of machines that's it hope this video helped you if so support the work by liking this video sharing it to your friends subscribing the channel and hitting notification bell icon thanks for watching take care bye